Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp YouTube channel. Now this series is actually part of my more comprehensive course called Full Stack E-Commerce App Development with CIF UI, Node.js and Postgres. And this course is available for sale on my Teachable website. You can see that I'm still working and developing this course, but a lot of material is already available. Uh, including quick tour of Express.js, building user registration system, introducing the MVC pattern, building user login, tab view and protected screens, and I just added fetching, displaying, and even creating products. So you can see there are a lot of sections that are still pending, so they are being worked on. So this is a complete course. Now, if you're watching it on YouTube, then you will get a couple of those videos so you get an idea of the course and if you are more interested in digging deep and diving deep into the course then you will check out the link in the youtube description for the full course now this course is available for introductory price of 89 dollars once the course is completed then the price will be changed to 149 so make sure that you take advantage of this deal this is the best course out there, very detailed course, which allows you to become a full stack developer with Swift UI, Node Express JS, and a real Postgres database. All right. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. So one of the questions that you might be thinking is why Node.js and Express and why not Vapor? I mean, Vapor is a Swift framework, so I don't even have to learn a different language. My choice of Express.js is because I have a little bit more experience with Express.js and I actually enjoy working with Express.js. I have been teaching Express and Node for quite some time now at a coding bootcamp, so my familiarity with Express.js is much more stronger as compared to Vapor or any other frameworks. That does not mean that Vapor or other frameworks are bad or anything. They're all really good frameworks. And one thing that you will realize once you learn Express.js or once you learn any backend framework is they're all very similar. And once you learn one of them, it is easy for you to jump and learn other ones. All right. So keep an open mind, learn something new. I'm sure you're going to love Express also as much as I do. Uh, but in the end, you can choose any backend framework that you want. It doesn't really matter. The, my choice for Express is obviously based on my experience with Express. I'm a little bit more comfortable with Express. All right, thank you. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the tools that you need to get started. And we will be using these tools in our course. So make sure that you download these tools, obviously. The first one is Xcode, so make sure that you have the latest release version of the Xcode. Uh, so go to simply Xcode and press on the download and download Xcode. You can also go to the Mac App Store and download Xcode from there. The next step is Node.js. Now Node.js, we will be using this to create the backend and we will be using Express.js, which is one of the packages we will install but you still need Node.js because that is a JavaScript runtime. So go to nodejs.org and click on download node.js and you'll be able to download node.js, double click on it, install it, and you're good to go. Next up is Postgres database. Now there are so many different ways of installing Postgres database, but the one that I found to be the easiest on the Mac is using the Postgres app. This makes it super simple to install Postgres. And the way that you do that is simply go to the Postgres. All of these links, I will add that in the resources section so you can definitely check it out. But the Postgres app, as the title subtitle says, is the easiest way to get started with Postgres SQL on the Mac. And it is actually really easy to get started. So we'll go to Downloads and just download the latest released right there. Again, it will be some sort of a downloadable file. You click on it and when you click on it, uh, it's going to run and it's going to show you right there Postgres app. So Postgres server is running locally. 
cool, right? So it's pretty simple to download. Now, by default, you can use kind of like the Postgres app terminal or CLI to visualize your database, but it's going to be nice if you can see the tables and the rows and edit the data much more in a visual way, right? And one of those things is Beekeeper Studio. There's also a Beekeeper movie, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Beekeeper Studio. Now, if you go to Beekeeper Studio, um, they do have different pricing and they may have uh, some sort of a trial that you can download. But the Beekeeper Studio Community Edition is actually free. So simply search for Beekeeper Studio Community Edition, and that is hosted on GitHub. So I'll, again, the links, all of them, I will provide that in this for this uh, lecture. It will be attached to this lecture. So make sure that you follow the links. So here's the link to the Beekeeper Studio, and this goes to GitHub. And if you scroll down, I know it's kind of like weird, but if you scroll down, you can see right here, Beekeeper Studio Community Edition. Community Edition basically means it's going to be free. Now, it's, it may not have all the features that are in the released or paid version, but it will be good enough. And then you can click on Download the Community Edition here. And this is kind of like what the beekeeper looks like. It's actually really nice. You can look at your data. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can run your queries. You can look at the data. You can edit the data. You can do a lot of stuff with beekeeper. It's a, it allows you to visualize what your data in Postgres SQL kind of looks like. And you can connect with other database uh, also. Okay. So these are the things that you need to get started. Xcode. Node.js, Postgres app, because you want to run Postgres on your local machine, and Beekeeper so that you can visualize the data in the Postgres database. All right, and make sure to check out the links. All the links will be attached with this lecture.